Hey guys, I'm Jerry Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to make the current version of Kingdom Hearts 3 work on the Steam Deck. First, I'm going to show you what happens if you do it through Steam. I'm going to look for the Kingdom Hearts. If I could go inside. We're gonna run it through compatibility. Now the um, on Steam they said that it requires 5.13. I've installed this version of Proton, but if you try to play it, this will happen. So we're gonna do it through Lutris. Okay, let's start. First, you need to know how to install Lutris and Proton App Qt. I have a video for that, link will be in the description. If you want to know where I got the game, it's from Mr. D. Now, the first step is going to Proton App Qt. Change this to Lutris Flatpak. And then click Add Version. Change this to Lutris Wine and look for Lutris 6.4. This one. Install this one. And then click install. But I will not click install because I've already installed it. As you see here. So I'm just gonna close this now. And then we're going to prepare our prefix folder. On your prefixes folder, create a new folder and then name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name mine KH3. And then we're gonna need MF install. The link will be on the description. Right click on it, extract, and click here. There we go. Rename this to just mf install actually this is not necessary but i like things to not have versions on it copy it and then place it inside the kingdom hearts 3 prefix folder now let's go to lutris before this part of the process make sure that you've already installed the game which i already did before making this video let's add the game I'm gonna name it KH3 for now. Put the runner to wine. On game options. The executable is the Kingdom Hearts 3.exe, which is wherever you install the game. In my case, it's on the micro SD card. Let me just resize this. Um, let's see. Here we go, it's on uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Binaries, Win64. This one, this one, Kingdom Hearts 3.exe. Click OK. On the one prefix, go to wherever you put the prefix folder and select it. Now don't put anything on the working directory. On the runner options, Select Lutris 6.4, which we downloaded before via ProtonNap Qt. And then click Save. I'm gonna show you what happens if we start this now. So the game will either get stuck here, or it will go through the copyright notice and then get stuck again. We're gonna stop the game and continue installing the dependencies. Click on the wine button, go to wine tricks, minimize Lutris for now, or minimize everything. Click OK. 
click here and then click OK again. Scroll down until you find VC Run 2019. It might take a while, it depends on your internet, sometimes it depends on Lutris. So just don't do anything until it comes back. There we go. Now that it's back, you can click cancel and cancel. Go back to Lutris, click the wine button, open bash terminal, and then here you're gonna type cd mf install. And then click dot slash mf dash install dot sh. After that, type wine tricks. I'll make sure to not misspell it. Core fonts f audio. Now that it's done, you can close this now, exit Steam, and then right click here, click create Steam shortcut. Open Steam again. Now the reason we have to exit Steam is because if you create Steam shortcut while Steam is running, you might think it didn't work because it's not going to appear, which is why you have to do it while Steam is closed. But in case you did it while Steam is running, you can just exit Steam and then try run it again. So, let me see. Oh, there we go. Now let's try to test it on the gaming mode. Let's see if it works. Now usually it gets stuck here, but if this red thing appears, you're good. The game's now working. But I'm going to teach you something else because we're gonna have to troubleshoot this at some point. If it somehow stops working where you click play and nothing happens, you have to go back to desktop mode and fix something. What you're gonna have to do when the game stops working is type these two codes again on the bash terminal. But if this error appears, you're gonna have to do something else. Go to system. System monitor, go to processes, and then look for wine server. Now, wine server is not here because the game works first try. But for the sake of this video, this is what you're gonna have to do click wine server. Now, of course, this is not wine server, I'm just using this as an example. And then end process. Now, after you end the process of wine server, that's the time that you can retry these two commands again and then the game will work again. I've already installed this game three times, but it only happened to me once, so it may or may not happen to you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can comment down below or join us on Discord. Link will be in the description. I hope I helped you guys. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.